Okay, this video I'm going to introduce you to the basics of getting around Adobe Premiere. So you're going to go down to the launch pad first. Um, also make sure you're already signed into the server. But you're going to find Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2018. And click on that and let that open up. While that's opening up, I'm going to show you where on the Holmes Journalism server you're going to find most of your footage. If you will look here on the HBCN folder, there's a lot of stuff in here. But you should see the Broadcast 1 Tutorial Footage folder and the Broadcast 1 Tutorial Turn-In folder. This is where you're going to save your work. And the footage, it doesn't have anything in it right now, but um, a little bit later that will have all the clips that you need to work with um, for this first project if you're working on this first tutorial project. So when you open Premiere Pro, this should be the first thing that pops up. It should have a start menu, and you have some options here. What you want to do is go down to New Project, and that's going to bring open this screen. So um, for this project, unless you've been told otherwise, I want you to save this file as Practice 1. And go ahead and put your first name and last initial there. So it should be all tied together. Matt S. Practice 1. And then for location, you should be logged into the server. I want you to browse. And I want you to go over to um, Mimosa, the server. Holmes Journalism. And HBCN. For the one that I'm showing you now, we'll save it in the turn in folder and say choose. So that's where it should save everything. And it should be on the metal one, time code, audio samples, digital video. We're going to say OK. So this is how your screen should look once you're actually in here. Um, if it's not, go to uh, workspace here and make sure you have it in the editing section. Um, and that should be all good. Um, right here, you'll see several tabs. Um, you'll see media br browser, a project tab, libraries, info, effects. That's where all your effects are. Markers, history, everything like that. Media browser is one you're going to need to know because this is where you bring in and out any clips you have. So you can look. It's just like finding anything on the computer. If we go to Holmes Journalism, you can go to the um, HBCN folder. And in your tutorial footage should be the footage you're going to use for what I'm doing. I'm actually putting pulling footage from elsewhere. So I'm going to grab this footage of drumline playing. And let me show you how you're actually bringing footage in. Once you have it in your media browser over here, you double click it. And it will open the file up here on this screen. And this screen is where you determine what part of the clip you want to use. Okay, um, this obviously has audio. I'm going to turn down my audio right now so we don't have to hear that all. But let's say I want to use this point. I'm going to put this blue marker here and I'm going to press I for in on the keyboard. Then I'm going to bring it over to where I want it to stop and I'm going to press the letter on the keyboard O for out. So I'm just taking this portion of the clip. Once I have my in and out decided, you can still trim it and um, other places as well. But when you generally know what you want, you drag that clip down to the playhead down here to our timeline. And you'll see we have a video track, audio tracks, and it's up here as well. This is the video I'm editing down here. So whatever you look at down here, this is the video screen for that. So notice when you're editing, you have uh, three right now video channels, multiple audio channels. You can actually add to that as well. Um, you'll notice that you kind of you do want this snap on, and um, you do want uh, that that blue right there. Um, so you can always move it up onto this channel. You can mute visually a channel. So now notice we're not seeing that, but you can see by the audio bars over here that we're hearing that. Um, so if I put it on a channel that it's not muted, you can see it. Same thing with the audio. If uh, you don't want the audio, you just press mute. And now if you look, we're seeing the video, but there's no audio playing. So um, 
you can stack clips, you can do different things this way, but you need to understand that where you have it matters. Usually you want to have a, a muted audio channel um, and you want to have a muted video channel because there's sometimes you might want audio and not video and so on and so forth. So um, for now I'm going to unmute everything. I've got my first clip on there and let me show you a couple of other tools. Let's say you want to trim a little bit. You've got a lot of other tools on here. Mostly you're going to use the selection tool. Um, there's other tools that you can use. The hand tool um, can actually move the clip around on the screen. So if you wanted to say um, make it multiple video clips, you can do that. Um, resize it or whatever you need to do. I'm not going to do that right now. Um, you also have this razor blade here, and it is a little razor blade, and that allows you to cut things. Let's say I want to cut right there, and I want to cut the audio right there. I can do that and now all of a sudden these are separate clips and I can do what I need to do with those. So that's the cut tool. For the most part those are the main ones you're going to you're going to use. There's also the pin tool, we'll learn more about those in some upcoming tutorials. There's the type tool, you'll learn about those as well. But um, you need to get to know these tools so you can use them effectively. Most of the time you're going to want this tool right here. And you can do various things. Um, if you double click, you'll notice that you got the clip highlight over here. If you double click the audio, you'll notice you can actually learn how to manipulate the audio and do all kinds of different things um, with this video. But basically, whenever you want to bring in a video, you simply go to your media browser. You find the video you're wanting to bring in. Hopefully that thing is accessible. If you ever can't find it, you probably haven't put it in the right place. Um, I'm going to mark my in and out again. In, out, drag that clip down. I can drag it down after this one. So then we have two clips, one after the other. I could drag it down on top and bring my audio back down here. And now I can say I want to have the guitar audio um, with the drumline video. And all of a sudden you can see just by muting the channel with the, the guitar footage, now we don't see it. We see the drumline instead of muting the audio channel um, for the drumline. Now you see now we have guitar music with that. One last feature you should know about is down here. This allows you to kind of zoom in or zoom out. It's how much of your video timeline you're seeing. So sometimes that can be helpful to understand how that works and zooming in, zooming out, and all of that. So once you understand that, you're just using the black arrow. If you need to delete something, you just click and delete and move. That's pretty much it. Make sure to save your pro product before you're done. If you already chose a place to save it as, then it should save it right back in that place. You can check up here and see Holmes Journalism, HBCN, Broadcast One, Tutorial, Turnin, and there it is. So make sure to save that before you close.